Hi, welcome to How to Repair. In this video I'm going to show you how to find your error code hidden in the software on the machine. We're working on Zanussi Jet System Machine 7 Kilo. This is a washer dryer. The tutorial does apply to some washers as well with the circuit boards very similar to the ones that you can see in the picture in a second. I will also show you what the error codes mean and at the end of the video I will show you how to enter diagnostic mode to check some of the major components on the machine. Sometimes when a washing machine fails it will automatically come up with an error code. Now the customer had unplugged the machine and brought it into the shop for repair and I needed to find out the error code. To find the error code you need to turn it to position 10. Now each one of these programs is a position. So 90 would be position 1. Number 40 down here is position 10. If you hold the rinse extra and the start button at the same time it will display an error code E21. E21 means it was unable to empty in the allocated period of time during the wash cycle. So there was a blockage in the filter unit in the sump hose. I cleared that and rectified it. Now we need to actually go into the diagnostic mode to clear the error code. To enter the diagnostic mode you need to turn the program to the selected number one position while holding down the rinse extra button and the start pause button. The light will now start flashing and all the LEDs will flash. We now need to turn it to position 10 again. This is now showing E21 but on some Zanussi machines the appliance will flash a sequence of lights if you do not have an LED displaying. So here you can see two red lights flashing followed by one green. The two reds relate to the first number, the one green relates to the second number. This tells you your error code sequence. To clear the error code you need to press again rinse extra and pause until the LEDs start flashing and zero zero it appears. If we turn the program off now so if we now turn the knob from the off position to position 10 press the two buttons the error code has cleared it's showing E00, no error showing. Next I will show you a list of all the error codes. Please read these. Please make sure when working on an appliance that a qualified person is doing the job for you but the error codes will point you in the direction of where you have the problem. They are not always 100% correct to diagnose the fault, but they will point you in the correct direction. Okay, we're going to enter diagnostic mode now, and there's a couple of important factors that you should do. Uh, firstly, make sure the drum is completely empty, nothing in the machine. Always be next to the machine during diagnostic mode because there are a couple of features in diagnostic mode where the water level will go all the way up to the soap door on positions 1, 2 and 3 I believe. Uh, so you need to monitor this. If you have a LCD display on the machine, the machine will show you different water levels and air temperatures as it's rising. If you have a more basic model, uh, it may not show you this. This diagnostic system is only on the Pacific model that I'm showing. It will work on some other models, but I do not have the information on which models this uh, works on. All I have is the circuit board type and software, uh, which is what I discussed earlier at the beginning of the video. 
So do be cautious when going into diagnostic mode and remember all work should be done by a qualified technician. Okay, to enter diagnostic mode we need to go to position 1. Uh, all these notches all the way around are different positions 1 to 10 which is in the diagnostic mode. To enter the diagnostic mode press the rinse, uh, extra rinse and pause button simultaneously while turning the program to position 1. First program comes up this shows you that all the lights are flashing even the red and green on the diagnostic mode that they're all working correctly it also shows you on the LCD display model all the functions are working correctly and all the parts of the letter and numbers are working correctly position number two is testing a single water valve and it will show you the level of water in the machine it will keep spilling all the way so this is the middle of the drawer and we're at level 30 at the moment switching it over is the other water valve on this side switching it over is showing water coming through I believe on all three valves and it's showing you the water level the next one on washer dryers is the valve that trickles water through to the condenser on the um, on the dryer side that's showing me that that valve is functioning correctly you can see all three water valves on the first three tests now we have this water valve activated and this you can just vaguely if I lift this you can see the bubble in the pipe there so you can see water is flowing down that and that goes all the way to the condenser on this side that usually is only for the drying function the next one actually turns the circulation pump on if the water level is not sufficient it will continue to fill until it just comes to the top of the drum there now it will also show you that the heating system is on and we will slowly see this temperature rise and if I'm looking on my multimeter on my control panel you can see that the heater is drawing nearly eight and a half watts, uh, sorry, amps and the temperature will rise over the course of the next few minutes this indicates that the heater is working perfectly the circulation pump is working perfectly as you could see from the wattage on the meter we're drawing 1950 uh, I think the element on this is about 1900 and of course you've got the circulation pump which will be about 35-40 watts so we can see the wattage and ampage being drawn there I believe this cycle will run for about 10 minutes and go up to a maximum of 90 degrees but as I say make sure you man the appliance always when in test mode we're up to 29 degrees at the moment and I'm happy with all this the next function is the drum will turn clockwise uh, to an RPM of 55 which should show 5 on here and then it will do anti-clockwise going up to 250 RPM which I believe will show 25 so we'll just flick over onto position 7 and as you can see five showing so that's 55 going clockwise and this is going up to 250 rpm in the anti-clockwise this function is really designed just for looking for leaks on the drum and also checking the motor functionality the next function which is position 8 
will show us that the machine is going to go to 650 rpm so we should see 650 it will drain the water first and it will go up to 650 and then it will go to maximum rpm so the pumps energized as soon as we get to the minimum water level the drum should start rotating and it will go up to a balanced 650 rpm and then it will accelerate up to a roughly 1400 rpm the machine is now empty you can hear the pump pumping drum started turning 200 rpm 300 400 500 650 hovering now the machine will accelerate up to the maximum rpm depending on what motor is fitted to the machine so we're at 1340 it's showing us it's a 1400 rpm I'm happy with that function. The next function will kick in the dryer. Uh, it also does the door interlock, the fan. I do know that this machine has got a noisy fan motor. Uh, I'm fully aware of that. So we'll just flick that now on. The fan will start running. It will show us the air temperature on the two sensors inside the machine. And it will start to do its normal dry cycle which means it will rotate one direction and rotate the other direction while the pump is running after the water has condensed in the close the water then is pumped out of the machine using the conventional pump the solenoid valve at the top will be intermittently on and off with the condenser and you can see the two air temperatures one is showing 44 degrees and the other is showing 30 degrees and this will go up over the course of the next few minutes the drum is rotating anti-clockwise at the moment the drum should change direction and turn clockwise and as you can see we have an air temperature of 51 on the one and 34 on the other position 10 as I showed you earlier will show us the last recorded error code and as I've already cleared the error code in the earlier part of the video this is all done Thanks very much indeed for watching this video. If you do need technical assistance or parts for any of your appliances, please remember you can always use the contact us page on the website. The link is above and below. And if you found this video helpful, remember to support the website by shopping with us or using the donate page. Thanks very much indeed for watching.